Hi there, I'm Patrick Mateen, Equipment Editor at Inside Archery, and welcome to InsideArchery.com. Today we're going to have an in-depth look at Liberty Archery's Liberty 1. As you can see, this is a very compact bow, 20 and a half inches between the axles. As far as I know, that's the shortest bow in the industry. Only weighs 2.5 pounds. Again, as far as I know, that's the lightest bow in the industry. And it has a 7 inch brace height, which gives a little forgiveness. And um, obviously, this very unique design. Very small, very compact, very, very lightweight. And that necessitates some interesting design features. You've got the shoot through um, split limbs and, you know, somewhat of a riser limb pocket all in one um, extending back into a arrow shelf. So um, very unique design, has shoot-through um, cables, shoot-through limbs, and that's what makes it tick. The limbs come together in the middle, that's why it's so short. And another thing that makes this work is this side-by-side three-dimensional cam system. As you can see, it's got um, a split um, draw stop. These actually act as the draw stops that come around and, and stop on the cables. These are steel cables with uh, plastic coating, which, um, you know, you're gonna have to load this from the back with broadheads. Um, synthetic might be a little dangerous, so this is actually serves the purpose of there, makes it very durable as well. So shoot through the cables, shoot through the riser limbs, and um, what allows it to be so short. Um, another cool thing, kind of this joy, what I call a joystick um, grip, it's offset 29 degrees, which is very comfortable, very natural, very comfortable. Also gets your arm out of the way of the, the cables here. It is, it's covered with a, a, a rubber you know, grip cover that makes it very soft and comfortable. And would also uh, probably insulate against the cold. The uh, Liberty One is sold as a package. Comes with a sight, a rest, string loop, peep and all of the um, silencing gear you see here. So out of the package ready to shoot, comes with a very cool um, zip up foam line case that does, has cut out, fits right in there. A very convenient way to take your Liberty One into the field. And up front, I've got to admit, I have some reservations about this. I'm a big guy, I've got a long draw length. I'm kind of curious to see how well I'm going to be able to shoot this. Pretty short and not normally a, a short bow fan, but willing to give it a shot. So let's take this thing out, shoot it for speed, shoot it for penetration, see how well I can shoot it. And we'll come back with you with the results. And another part of the equation in this Liberty Archery system, if you want to call it that, is the Liberty Archery Arrow. These are made to be very quick and penetrate very deeply. This is a 5.9 grain per inch arrow with a 0 .320 um, spine. That's a very stiff spine, goes up to 80 pounds. They have a 0 .001 straightness tolerance and they are weight and spine match per dozen. So that 0 .001 the weight and spine match makes these extremely accurate arrows. Um, they are about $159 a dozen. Add $29 to that if you want them cut and fletched for you. But um, what that money buys you, this is some of the highest modulus carbon in the business. They're extra stiff despite their, their light weight. Finished weight about 292, 293, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, has a protective collar on the knock end and the front and fletched with with laser veins but um, part of what makes this Liberty Archery bow sting Liberty Archery arrow and the Liberty Archery broadhead this is a three blade fixed blade with a cut on contact um, trocar tip and weighs 75 grains that um, gives you a little more speed yet and as we shall see, these are not toys. We're gonna to shoot them into foam and, and check out the penetration with these. I think you'll be very impressed. Okay, so now we're gonna put this Liberty into the, the Spot Hog Hooter Shooter. This is the shooting machine we use for all of our bow tests. And um, run it through the chrono, see what happens. 
this allows a very, very consistent drawing. Comes back to the same point every single time. So we'll draw that to the draw stop there. Like 307. And 308. Okay, so we've established that this Liberty Archery bow is fast and consistent. Very light and compact, of course, but the question everyone always asks is, how does it shoot? So, we're about to find out. I've got the Liberty Archery arrows, and might mention here that um, I have a very long draw length, so um, 30 inches, and a 20 and a half inch bow with a 30 inch draw. Seems kind of incongruous, but here we go. Got my T-handled release. Check, see how I do. So as you can see, I mean, this this is a um, fused, um, layered foam target, and I mean, this thing will stop a crossbow bolt, bolt from a crossbow that's shooting 400 plus feet per second. So you pull this out, and in this foam target, you know, we got that much penetration. Um, I'll um, leave these two in here. We'll shoot a crossbow bolt in there just for comparison. Okay, and this was a this was a crossbow bolt from a 185 pound crossbow. So I just wanted to demonstrate that this was not a soft target. So you know, 180 pounds, got about that much penetration with the field point, and very comparable. So my takeaway, you know, after getting a chance to shoot this, I got back to 25 yards, which I considered a, a good average whitetail range. Shot it at 25 yards, shot it out of the Hooter Shooter shooting machine to um, check out um, how quick it was. Did some penetration tests on a brand new, well, not really brand new, but a target that hasn't been shot up a lot. And um, I have to say, my, my early skepticism was unfounded. The bow is very fun to shoot. It's a lot of fun to shoot. And um, good performance. Quick, plenty of hunting speed, penetrated deeply is, is a crossbow bolt and really surprised me. I like this little thing. It's um, on an elk hunt, climbing in the mountains. It's about as light as it can get in a tree stand or a pop-up blind. Very maneuverable, very little. And I have to say, just getting my hands on it and shooting it changed my mind. And if you'd like to find out more about Liberty Archery, the Liberty One compound, check them out on the web at www.libertyarchery.com. And as always, while you're here on InsideArchery.com, check out the rest of our cool videos. More to come. Patrick Mateen, Inside Archery.